Make the world a better place to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And our contribution-related idiom to coincide with the BU 365-day challenge, our annual challenge this year, is to make the world a better place. This uh, phrase and this idiom is, uh, a, is credited to Ralph Waldo Emerson. He used it first. Probably people thought about it, but maybe they didn't say it in exactly those words and in exactly that way until Ralph Waldo Emerson did. Now, I looked up seven ways to make the world a better place as a business and as a human being, an individual, and I've got lists and lists of that because we've been talking about contribution, and to me, contribution is how do you show up in the world, how do you make the world a better place, and if we're running a business, how does our business show up in the world, how does our business make the world a better place, what question or problem does my business at, or whatever businesses I happen to be in, because I'm usually involved in more than one at a time, what does it do for the world? What does it do for different people in the world? And it doesn't have, every business is different. And the impact it has on the world is different. Now, some businesses impact the world positively. Other businesses help a lot of people and provide a service for them, but don't necessarily have a positive impact or footprint on the world, right? And it's up to us to decide what we want our businesses to be. So I'm going to share a quick list of things. I, I don't think it's the best list I've ever seen, but it's a list. You know, the internet has all kinds of advice for us if we choose to learn from it and accept it. But that's the main thing. We need to pick and choose the things that work for us, the things that work for our business, and, and try those out on for size and make them our own. So uh, we could volunteer, right? We all know that volunteering is a great way to make the world a better place. We can volunteer our skills, we can volunteer our knowledge, we can volunteer information, we can volunteer uh, to just spend time and energy with different groups of people or different people that need attention, right? Uh, I used to be a big brother, big sister. I was a big sister, of course, since I am a woman. Um, and I was, I was the big sister to a little girl for six years. And then I moved from that community and, and her mom got remarried and they had a new family. And I don't think she needed me that much anymore. And then when I moved, I ended up getting married and having my own family. So I, I quit being a big sister. I really missed it because it's a fun way to make an impact on someone else's life just by spending time with them and volunteering. Uh, we need to keep in mind that and recognize the humanity in every other human being on the planet, right? By giving people respect and respecting the differences that we all have and respecting the similarities we have, treating every human being the way we want to be treated is a great way to make the world a better place. And all of us have the ability to do that. It doesn't cost anything. And then this list said, use less paper, drive less, conserve water, and donate to um, clean water charities. Now, it seems like this was a list made by some water nonprofit, and it could have been, I don't remember where I got the list, but uh, there's a lot of water uh, and things like that. And I'd say, you know, know the, the companies that you're buying products and services from. Know the companies that you're doing business with and make sure that your goals are aligned. Uh, and then the final one was be generous. So, you know, there's things we can learn from that list. I haven't driven for a couple of years because I can't see well enough to drive. So I don't have a driver's license anymore, uh, which was a good thing. I, I, I quit driving before the government would have taken my driver's license away because I didn't feel safe. And my making the world a better place is not driving when I shouldn't and getting in a car accident because I just want to go to the store or something. And, you know, COVID really helped that. It made it a lot easier to not go anywhere or not drive. There's always an upside to everything, right? So today, think about, and if you're brave, and you don't even have to be very brave, share in the comments below how your business makes the world a better place. Just think about what question or problem does my business solve in the world and how is it making the world a better place? And keep in mind that if you're a small business and your business is just there so it can provide income and money to take care of yourself and your family, that is making the world a better place because it's setting an example for people that you can have your own business. You can create a business that provides income and the resources necessary for you to take care of yourself and your family. And that's very, very important. I think 54% of the, of the, I don't know if it's, it can't be the world, but I think the United States, people say they're living paycheck to paycheck. And that's, that's not a great secure way to feel about your life. So I like to help people make sure that they maybe have that job, but they also have 
other sources of income so that they are less stressed, so they can enjoy their life, so they can spend time with their kids and their family. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. Love to know your take on making the world a better place. Guess what? Not all business owners believe in making the world a better place. Not all people believe in making the world a better place. Some people just believe in making the world a better place for themselves and everybody else be damned. So have an awesome day. I, of course, will be with you tomorrow with another contribution-related idiom. Just a few handful of days left in the month. So just a handful more days about contribution. And then we're going to hop into... I can't remember if it's confidence or communication. I think it's confidence. I think we're going to talk about confidence for the month of August in the the U365 Day Challenge. So I will do a confidence-related idiom every day for the month of August, and we'll tie that into how does that help us grow and build and supersize our business. And I guess my first question would be, if you don't know how being more confident helps you to grow and build and supersize your business, maybe we need to talk. All right, have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow.